And now let's talk about search. So search is used to search for a match between a regular expression and the string object. Let's see some examples here. So I have here a string that I assigned to a variable text. Now I'm going to go and call the search on my string object text. Then I'm going to pass in a string. But search here takes in a regular expression. So search here will go and convert this string here into a regular expression using the regexp object. Now I'm going to assign this to position because search will always return an index that is uh, the index of the first match. Now the first match here happens or occurs at 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to get 5. Now I'm going to try search with a regular expression. So I have here some forward slash and then A. So I'm going to search for A, I and N. And this is the exact same thing as searching for the string A. So this will also return 5. Now if I go and look for A, now A, I and N all uppercase. In this case, I'm going to get 14. So this doesn't count as a match. So this means that search is case sensitive. Now I'm going to do the same search, but this time with the flag I, that means case insensitive. And this time it will look for both A in uppercase and lowercase. So I'm going to get five this time. So search here returns an index of the first match and search is case sensitive. Now when search fails to find a match between your regular expression and the string object, it will return minus one. And that's it for search. Let's move on to the next method.